So one of the things that I found to be the most difficult to keep track of when I was starting my business were random things that would just pop up once a month. It would be like whenever there was something like doing finances or making sure I was actually like evaluating each month. Those were some of the weirdest, hardest things to keep track of. So I decided to start a whole separate protocol around monthly protocols and evaluations. And so today's just kind of like an overview of kind of things that I do monthly and a way that you can keep yourself on track. Um, And then the importance of having like something like a monthly checklist and a monthly evaluation is it make sure that you're ready to improve and get better every single month. And you're not stuck like I was for the first year of my business, seven months of just like no consults and just chilling and not really understanding why, along with the aspirations of leaving teaching. I think if I had been able to do some weekly evals and or monthly email evals, I would be able to do that a lot more efficiently and I'd get back on track faster. So That's something that I want to give on to you all. And then also like what you can do weekly, how to make small improvements, and then what kind of things to do within a checklist to make sure your business is running really smoothly. So I just like to have quotes in here and we want to make sure that when we're evaluating our business, that you're not berating the crap out of yourself. I know that a lot of us have talked about like when you put zeros in like even your form and things like that, it can feel shitty. It can not like, you know, it's like, it just doesn't feel like great to be in a place where you're like, okay, things are not progressing in the way that I had hoped or anticipated. But within that, like we want to be able to like learn from the numbers and we want to be able to learn from our evaluations. And that's why we always start with things that are working and that there are wins and there are things that are going well, and then we can figure out how to grow. So here is the week 11 evaluation, and it wasn't necessarily week 11, but we talked about having all of these evaluations and I literally do this every single week. I make sure that I know exactly where my annual goal is, where my monthly total is. And I have realized that like, I want to start treating my goals in a way that doesn't feel as punitive. Like, I feel like that's just like outdated from school, the way that we were all trained, like to like feel about goals a lot of the time. And I am intentionally like hitting a goal, like putting a goal this year that is just, I'm using it to stretch my mindset. I'm not actually necessarily looking to hit that goal this year. I'm like, nope, this is just like something to stretch and help me with my belief too. And so I think that's a really important thing for you guys to do. And what I did is I just have like, mine is going to look different because I started this with a business coach years ago. And I'll just show you that when we're done. I've heard that me jumping back and forth to like examples is not always helpful. I've got that feedback before. So I'll show you that when we're done. But <clears throat> what I do is I put the date of each week as a title. And then I add the financial tracker to this as well. <clears throat> and I'm falling apart today, guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And that's okay. Um, so this is where you guys are at making a list of things that you can do each week and feel free to take as much time as you want and make sure that you have each of the tasks that you can do. So one thing that you can do, and I think I actually moved the PL spreadsheet to finances, um, But that is something that like you might want to do every month is like updating your profit and loss statement. And if we haven't talked about that, we will definitely talk about that soon. Um, The projections that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, I like to do that every month. I showed you guys that I think last week and making sure that I'm like, okay, here's what I'm projected to make. Here's how many consults I'd like to make happen this month. And then here's how many new clients I want to have. 
I also, we talked about the annual plan and the goals that you have for that. I'm actually doing a webinar tomorrow on the monthly part of the annual plan. So if you guys want to come, you if anything, you'll at least get in the running for a free coaching session. And it would also just be fun to have you guys. Um, but that is something that I do every single month and make sure that I am on track. And I think the monthly breakdown <clears throat> is a thing that I use, <clears throat> my goodness, friends, more than any of the other things. Like I, that's the thing that like when I'm working with my business coach, I'll like put that up and be like, hey, here's where I'm at, like with my business, do we need to move? Like I decided like two weeks ago, it's a very fluid document. Like I'm moving my podcast to actually start next year. And I'm just going to be a guest speaker on a bunch of podcasts this year. And like, so it's like, you can move things around very, um, like weekly, monthly, definitely checking in with that, doing your eval and then, um, updating your marketing calendar. Like, so it's like every month I'll like go in and I'll create my new topics and I'll just move all of the topics that I didn't actually do the prior month to the next month. And now like you can see mine are, th so this is what I had for you guys. Now mine's just really long. So it's like update my receivables. If anyone needs to resign, making sure I talk with them. That's something you guys can add to yours, doing expenses, doing, um, deleting all my zoom calls. I like noticed that my server got really slow every single month. So it's something I literally, if I don't have it on this checklist, I will literally forget it. Um, change my payroll, update my marketing calendar, sign up for scholars coaching, like making sure I actually get coached myself. Those are all the things that I like to do every month. And then <clears throat> you guys know my eval kind of format you want to do five wins, what worked, what didn't work, and what can we can do differently. And I actually changed the monthly eval. So it was um, managing marketing sales, presenting. Oh, this is right. Managing marketing sales, presenting, delivering, and planning. And the it just said finance here. And I don't know why it said that there. But this is how you can go through and write for each of these. You could put five wins if you want. It just took me a really long time. But what I, this only takes me like 15 minutes. Like, I don't want you guys to be taking a long time doing your evals, but I just use talk to type and it's just helpful for my brain to like talk it out and be like, okay, I need to do another presentation for me doing presentations over the summer has not, I, like, I think that I might need to shift that around a little bit. So just like thinking about each of these categories, um, and making sure that I'm improving each month. And then like, also like visualizing, like what can I do differently? Like, what would it look like to actually be a 10? What would it like for me to feel like I'm at a 10? What kind of results would I be expecting? And then a lot of times, like, instead of like not having a goal or kind of feeling disappointed, you'll know exactly why and you'll know what to shoot for next time. So before we get into questions, I'll show you what that looks like on my end. And then I've got a couple of updates I don't want to forget to tell you about. So again, I told you mine was a little bit different because I started doing this with um, the business coach I was working with, and then I made it my own. So I have a separate folder for business coaching within my drive. And I've got like a bunch of different like folders, like podcast notes I don't use anymore, coaching for March Madness. Like these are all a lot of like outdated things that I could probably clean up, but <clears throat> I have this full folder for business coaching. What is happening? I'm so sorry guys. I'm like, is it allergies? It's raining here? I don't know. <clears throat> but each week, this is how I go in and I have my whole, every single week of the year I do that. And then I've got everything updated in my weekly evaluation tracker that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. And then I also have a folder for my monthly evals. And you can see like, this is where I keep each month and I like list the things there. And so what you, if I were you, what I would do is what it says, like make a copy when you click on like the, um, this editable monthly evaluation, 
I would move this to a separate folder for all of your monthly evaluations and just like keep a running track of this. For your monthly checklist, what I like to do is just like with the webinars, I just cross it off and I use the same checklist every month. Really quick, okay, so I wanna hear your questions just so I don't forget. Jewel comes next Monday about how not to be weird while networking. Or I would feel like we should be like how to be normal while networking. Like that's going to be the topic of next Monday at 8 p.m.'s call Eastern. And if you want to submit any questions, I'll post that in the stream. And then one of the things that I found has been a very hot topic and I've got like mixed feelings about it, but I also like don't want to keep this from you guys as well, is chat GPT. Um, it's an AI system that can like mimic your writing. It's very like interesting um otherworldly but I've found that like a lot of people are using it not for writing your posts itself but for getting ideas um creating content calendars from those like most search for options and so even though it's like a lot later on um Christina is going to come and she's going to do that presentation for us on July 31st like which is like pretty much a month and so away but I just didn't want to forget to talk to you guys about that. So that is the recap. Are there any questions before we take our picture and get started? Yes, Maria. When do you do, like when in the month do you um, do like all of this stuff? First Friday, I block out the day. I make sure that I actually don't have any, um, like I, I say that I'm busy in my Google calendar and I say like monthly checklist and I'm like, all right, we're just going to do this. And I tried to put how much time I was spending on each task. So it's like 15 minutes for eval, like 30 minutes to an hour for QuickBooks. Um, and I just like put for each task, how long it took and then I tallied that up and it ended up being like four hours. But I like, even though I just have like a block, that's like a, a big chunk. I try and time it out with my watch when I'm doing that during the month. Yes. After. And just like the, the monotonous stuff that like, eventually you guys, what I'm thinking is a CFO would eventually do that. It's going to be so long that like, there might need to be like a literal other person, like a bookkeeper for the numbers that I just meet up with them and they're like, Hey, I did all the things that you used to do by yourself. And now you've got access to this, um, document. So that's the way that I'm doing that currently. Great question. Are there any other questions before we take our picture and get started? Feeling good? Goodish, good enough. <laughs> All right, you guys, ready? I'm gonna get just like desk. It's not that messy. It just doesn't look very good. I was like, I've got like my like glasses and stuff. I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, ready? Okay, one, two, three. Awesome. I took a couple. Oh my gosh, everyone's so small in this one, but it's fine. My parents got me some flowers, so I would like wanted to get those in there too. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and open up for some coaching. Remember to start with a win and then we'll dig in. Friends, nobody was anything. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Just kidding. And remember, you can use this time if you want me to look over your posts, if you want to like go through the webinar script together, if you want me to look over your monthly checklist, your PL sheet, anything. I this is what this time is for, too. I have something if no one else wants to go. I, you spent a long time with me last week, so I was gonna <laughs> let other people go first. But um, so the thing that I'm kind of struggling with is this um I feel like clear about the like pillars of my program, for example, and I have like in my head, 
it does, I don't feel confused about it, but I feel like I'm not able to like really art clearly articulate like a simple result that I offer people. Mm, okay. That makes sense. Um, and so I'd love to like, just see if we can flush that out so I can stop thinking about it. <laughs> I love that um within and so I'm just gonna say your win is feeling clear about the fillers of the program how did your first call go yesterday or last week it was good was it good really? yeah yeah I mean I still only have one person so it's basically one-on-one -on -one coaching but it was good <laughs> I'm gonna call that a huge win yeah I also had another webinar on Friday that was good too amazing um how did, well, how did that go? Was that good? Yeah, the webinar was good. I think that the, the, my, um, the thing I, my like sales pitch, mm -hmm. I didn't really like, that was, that's my, what I could do differently next time is work on the sales pitch. And I think having this, there like, yeah, I think this is going to help. <laughs> Just like the when we were talking about and if anyone hasn't watched that last week I feel like that was really helpful to go like through the why like why are we looking to create this within your business it's like okay so when people are going to look with you they're trying to improve their business or just start a business remind me again like the overarching what's the name of your program again momentum lab momentum lab okay so the thing yeah, this is where I, this is the part that's unclear, <laughs> is, so it's, like, not so much, like, how to business, it's how to keep going, like, when it gets hard, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, um, like, the, well, here's, let me tell you, this is, what like, are the pillars? say again? Pillars? Um, the pillars are, um, awareness, CEO self-concept, um, plugging power leaks, I should be able to roll this off really easily, there's five of them, what's number four? Oh, aligned action, mm -hmm. taking aligned action and building community. Okay. So within this, what you want to do is I think that a couple of these pillars, they sound like they are the process and not necessarily the overarching pillar. So like plugging power leaks, I think is like maybe your process to help them. Aligned action is like the the I think that the pillar yeah. and, you know what I'm saying it's like mm -hmm. I think these are like actually your your process mm -hmm. and so I think that like so it's like why do they need awareness mm -hmm. yeah it's no like knowing what they want okay so they're un it's like um they're unclear or they are um or it's like they don't like not clear on their purpose or confused or stuck about how to get there if they do know their purpose. Okay, let's leave confused or stuck about how to get there um to here. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like so it's uh -huh. like this is more like and I'm, I'm thinking this is more like awareness about their brand and they're like almost like their um statement like this is like it's like they don't really know what they stand for so it's kind of like so it's almost like I would take a look and be like okay so this is the problem this is the solution is you give them awareness the process is through something like this maybe let's and if you want to like maybe try this yourself a little bit mm -hmm. you can rework it together I think that's why it's a little unclear yeah that makes sense so the um the pillar should be the problem or like talk to me about that again <laughs> yeah, problem adjacent 
So like I'm thinking that like plugging power leaks, the problem is their their power is leaking. The solution yeah. to plug them, the process is like something like stress management, something. And the result would be that they feel energized and know how to manage high and low cycles in their business. So yeah. like this one would be like burnout. Like how how are you feeling about burnout on a scale of one to ten? Yeah. The pillar needs to be something that like you can be like, okay, I help people. It's like it's like someone can rank burnout on a scale of one to ten. Mm-hmm. So I can rank my awareness on a scale of one to ten. If I don't mm-hmm. know what awareness is like yeah. reflecting back to. That's why I was like, is it awareness about their brand? Is it awareness about their purpose, their mission statement? Like yeah. If, you know, it's like, is that the kind of like piece of it? And I, I they could be something completely different. I just uh-huh. like, when you say burnout, I'm or awareness, I'm like, awareness about what, you know? And yeah. Then, like, CEO self concept. It's like, is that their confidence? Is that something that you're helping them to do? Like feeling confident? Is it um when you're thinking about like being a CEO, is it that like they don't know how to like they feel passionate, but they don't actually know how to run a business? Like they don't know how to manage a business. I think it's more like belief in themselves that they can do it. Like I would say it's like yeah, confidence. confidence. Yeah. You know, because I feel like that's like you can rank your confidence on a scale of one to ten. Um, <clears throat> maybe this is like more like direction. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah that seems good and this is like um really it's like relationship building it's like which is the same word as building community you can yeah. use building community, but I think it's like um what's what does it mean when you get it's like um I like the word community I'm like thinking about like um when you get more followers it's like audience Audience building, yeah, and and then you network building, uh, yeah. It's like like audience, not network, like that a lot. Um, and then engagement, yep. Because mm-hmm. building, I like that a lot. Because like um, community engagement, I think that's even better. I like that um because that is more about um creating like you can have a huge audience and no one's engaged right um don't know what to do to me this is more direction and then this is more like um something else like this is like no I think direction at the top is good like like, and then actually like because you can be really clear on your direction and still be like not doing things (laughs) right yeah there you go you you... execution Mm -hmm. maybe it's a goal execution something like that yeah like that but you see so that that yeah you could rank that on a scale of one to ten that's the difference between the pillars in the process and so if I look at that and it's like okay so you're someone who needs direction confidence is burnt out unmotivated and needs community engagement that is what the momentum lab does it's like yeah and it's like you could say i help um entrepreneurs it, and we're going with entrepreneurs find mm-hmm. direction create confidence overcome burnout um execute wow <laughs> their goals and create engaging communities so mm, yeah that's good that can be like a way that you use your pillars for your i help statement mm-hmm. you could also like it's like if you want to like i like that though i think it's how does that feel yeah that feels much better yeah I think this is like that's how you can like use your pillars and totally. I put that in your like Instagram you could just like capitalize like the bigger words it's like community direction goals like and make those all caps but mm-hmm. yeah or you could like 
me combine a couple of them if you wanted to but I think that sounds really good and like yeah. if you're gonna be like okay when you work with, and then within defining it for people who are interested in working with you then that's when you could define it and be like hey like strategic goal execution love that it's like um strategic goals that I like too and it's like just like having that kind of clarity for them they're like oh okay like it's not like it's like the momentum lab it's like what do you what's stopping them from getting momentum they don't have direction confidence they're burnt out they don't have goals and they don't have engaging communities yeah I do. that's I do. right yeah, I do. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for telling me that Megan <laughs> I was like, but I, I think that, that once you get clear on that, then yeah. you do your concept breakdown, especially for like the webinars that you do in the future. Yeah. Like, okay. Like what does it mean to find direction? It's like, okay, so I'm going to have like, it's like, I could do a whole presentation on like your like business's internal compass or something like that. Like something yeah. like, uh-huh. like the school that you teach, or it's like, um, create confidence. It's like how to overcome imposter syndrome. That could be a whole training of work on burnout. It's like, um, stress management for solopreneurs, like something like that. Those are ways that you can like build ideas and concepts and, um, to like make it easy for your clients to be like, Oh my gosh, I totally feeling a lot of imposter syndrome. Talia is my girl. Yeah. Yeah. That makes good sense. Yeah. But I hope that helped. And then yeah, that's really helpful. What you do when you do a webinar is like you hit that and you're like, okay, the problem with imposter syndrome, I'm going to teach you like how to like develop confidence or it's like the unimposter syndrome. Like you can do like the unimposter syndrome tool or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, but the bigger problem is that you don't have all of these other pieces. And that's what I give right. you in this group. And it's helpful. Yeah. Is it for me? I'm actually like having them for this next webinar doing it in a really different way, but I'm having them identify already, like pretty much go through a consult on themselves and be like, okay, where am I at in each category? Where do I want to grow? I teach them the time management school skill. And then I'm like, and by the way, if you don't know what to do with your time, I will give you stuff to do with your time. <laughs> you know, it's like, I trust me, there's plenty of stuff to do and that actually will be profitable. Yeah. That makes good sense. Good. I, I was like, awesome. Do you have, does anybody have any other ideas after listening to that? Well, if you think of stuff, you can always put it in the chat and like put it in the group for sure. I feel like, oh yeah, Maria. I just was wondering, like, is it, is it clear in where you're like in your other, um, like where you're talking about your business, who you help? Um, me or like the motivation lab could be for like a, a ton of people. Yep. Mm-hmm. I wonder if there's like um either okay. words that you add. Not that the the group, I don't know. I yeah, maybe it's like um you're not you won't find it on Instagram. <laughs> not yet, but we will. No. Get there. <laughs> um me I totally agree. Like I love the name. I, I think it's really cool, but I wonder if um And there might not be, it might just be like anywhere that you say something about motivation lab, it's like, um, you're talking about entrepreneurs. Yeah. So I or have like, sorry, I said motivate, momentum lab. Yeah. So I'm like imagining, so I have like a sales page that's in process, but like, um, uh, like I have like a sub heading that I I'm still working on that list, like part of like what I want, um, to come out of this. Um, and it will be like about, I'm thinking like for like purpose driven entrepreneurs or something like that, like entrepreneurs who want to be like, have a purpose driven business or, you know, something like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. I love that. Yeah. I appreciate that feedback. Thank you. 
Um, I think that can help with your SEO too. Yeah. Mm. amazing yeah I I think that's a really important just like making sure that you're like for purpose-driven business owners for purpose-driven business owners like mm -hmm. or like you could you could even like add like the business momentum lab or like just like adding the word business in front of it if you wanted to that's yeah another quick quick shift that, totally yeah, yeah I one thing there's like say again I was just saying like I, um, I come from like an advertising and marketing and like PR background. Um, and I often want to like have some like sexy name. And then I realize like how, how much more like powerful a name that is just like, this is exactly what it is. Yeah. It doesn't sound super sexy. Like Megan's like, it's a six figure system mastermind. Like you're like. <laughs> Okay. yeah like, I think that systems that sounds like like setting up the foundation like it's totally but it's like is that like the sexiest name is it like the fucking tribe collective thing that like everyone is like it's the yeah. la 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 collective and I'm totally yeah. like doing that like I want to name something I have called the collective but like yeah <laughs> there are like trendy things that like all start sounding exactly the same no it's so true I, I think that weird. like this is why I wanted to get like I feel like I can't say that because I don't know so like that's why this has been very helpful you can't you can't say what like it clearly like who, like who I help like what the result is and so I can't name it that you know what I mean like I know I like want to help people and this this all helps but like in the like prior to today I've just been like I just know I want to help people move forward and gain momentum but like you know yeah. what I mean like that's yeah. the like sense I have about it but like saying it more clearly than that I haven't been able to do so that's how I yeah, find it honestly it might the other thing too is I think sometimes well I've gotten stuck here is like I want to help um women who work in the corporate world and like long-term I'm like, I want to be working with really senior people and like CEOs that are making these big ass decisions for like millions of people, their own employees. And then the impact that the corporation has on the world, like that's who I want, you know, because, but in the meantime, sometimes people want to work with me that have their own business. Like, like they're like a consultant or something. They're not like, they're not, they don't have their own business. It's like this massive. So, but I've gotten like, oh my God, should I start marketing to entrepreneurs and like, you know, people who own their own businesses? And I hold off from that. And so what I was going to say is that you might, you might like work with one person and be like, oh, I'm actually helping them do this thing where they, they go from, they go from, um, feeling like their business is a hobby to like a bit, you know, or whatever, like this. Cause like, yeah, this like specific transition within entrepreneurship mm -hmm. um, and people, the thing I feel like once you commit to something, you'll still have other people like reach out and want to like that still want all of these things. Um, so it might come. As to my totally. Opinion. Yeah. Yeah, that makes good sense. I yeah, sure. I was thinking I was actually thinking about that just this morning like how I can I don't have to market to everyone. Like anyone who like if I'm like talking about getting clear on your purpose, like anybody who wants to get clear on their purpose can come to me. Like yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so I found that like sometimes it takes like one client and you're like, "Oh, that felt amazing." Yeah. And I think I don't know. I've like just I think you can also get like really great results for people who don't, it might not be exactly that. And people will totally. say, oh my God, wow. I'm going to, yeah. and like, Cause you can still, you can still like, like, even if it's not the, like a specific entrepreneur or like, it doesn't fit into the exact like target that is your, your like for the moment. I mean, 
you can still like show results around like all of these pillars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can show all these results, like these, you can show results under all of these pillars for someone who isn't in, like someone who is, works in the corporate world. Yeah. So not that you would necessarily take them on, but like, um, I hope what I'm saying is making sense. It is. No, that really, that's super helpful. And I just like added like for like, you know, it's like, so I told everyone on this Greece trip that I went on, I was like, yeah, like I, I help business, I help people with their uh, businesses. Like, that's what I was just like, Hey, like, yeah, I, I'm a business coach. That's what I do. And so you could be like, Oh, I help business owners get unstuck in their business. And I just like added that. Mm-hmm. And one of the girls was like, can you help me? as a career coach, she was like, I heard that you used to do that because I actually coached two other people that went on the trip. She's like, I know you don't do that anymore. Would you be willing to help me? And I was like, you know what, as a one-on-one client, why not? And I know you don't do one-on-one necessarily. Um, I signed her on Friday. <laughs> I was like, yeah. all right, like why, you know, it's like, I, so if someone comes to you in a rare situation like that, if you ever wanted to, I just, I love her so much. And I used to do career coaching and I'm like, I can totally help you. And I don't think it's. Yeah. Like- yeah. So that's the thing is I, I know what I teach will help people like not just in the context of business, you know what I mean? And so it's like, I think that anybody honestly could join this group. And even if they're not like, even if what they're applying it to something other than business, I know they would get a lot out of it because it's not specific business skills. It's like, I think I like, I'm, I'm trying to, I think I'm a life coach for business people (laughs) or like, you know what I mean? Like not, I'm not a business coach. I'm a life coach for business people. I like the way that sounds. I like that a lot. I think you should for sure go with that. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Keep (laughs) it up. Like, I feel like that was a lot of good feedback. And if anyone else has, um, Yes, not pushing your people away in order. Yep. Yeah. So good. Unless they want me to be their divorce lawyer, those people. Unless they want me. <laughs> Maybe that would not be great. Yeah. <laughs> Super helpful. Thanks, y'all. Of course. <laughs> what? Um, I love that too. Who else wants some coaching? Demetria. Okay, some coaching or a little bit of help. So I worked on my I help statement yep. um, this weekend. Because my program is curate your life, you know, live your dream life. But just I've been working on breaking things down into plain language, right? Just trying to make it, like Maria said, as simple as possible, just telling people what I do. So I changed my I help statement to I help women figure out and get past what's holding them back from the life, from having the life they want. Uh So I feel like that's pretty clear. Um, Absolutely. I help women figure out and get past what's holding them back from having the life they want. And back from... Mm-hmm. So I really like this. And I think that just to like make this a little bit a smidge shorter, we could okay. do like I help women figure out and find the lives they want. You know, it's like or in and create the lives they want. Like something like that. Like because then it's like they would have to get past holding them back. That's kind of like I, I feel like, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that would need to be, it's almost like an implied step that you don't necessarily have to create just for like ease of like, if you want to put this in your like Instagram bio, I think that would work. But also I think when you're like talking to people, like, and just like, it's like, I help people figure out and get past what's holding them back from having, oh, that it could flow. Yeah, That could just be like a, a shorter, if you didn't want to like be like, have a longer flight. I do like that create the lives they want because I mean that is kind of what I say in all the places you do say that in all- I'm sorry say it again you do you do a great job of saying this in all the places which I love 
Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on saying it in all the places. Um, I just, I feel like I need to create some urgency for them. I think so. And, yeah, so that's one of, so I'm, I worked on that, like trying to get it as clear as possible, but I have in my mind, like, is that just a nice to have? You know what I mean? Like mm. they're living their lives, they're doing okay. But what I want to convey is that it can be so much better and it can be whatever you want it to look like. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm working on. Okay. So much better. And okay, I thought of a better way to say this because I was like, life is short. Like this is like, don't it, it, it like so that's kind of like I I negative way of saying it. I was like, um, that is really negative, but like being like, you know, it's like, who knows, we might die tomorrow. Like, let's live a better life. I think a better way, or not a better, but like a different way is like, um, like live a life. Like, I think I had it, it not without regret. Um, live. Oh, I had something. Anyways, like, but like maybe like a positive reframe of that to be like, yeah. like look back on your life and know it was like. It was like living big, something like that. I actually did it as one of my posts. I um, I tried to reframe it for something. And I was like, it was this. Mm, no, it, one of them. Oh, it was the Greece one where I was like, um. one of them it was like live a um we only have one like um we only have one life on this planet so let's use it to do something amazing let's try and live bigger than we ever imagined like, yes you know what I mean so it was just like something like that to be like let's live big let's live a big and full life like let's like because I I was going to be like well and it, the thing that actually like and prompted me with that one was like the girl who was supposed to lead the retreat is 27 y'all she's 27 years old and just found out she's got breast cancer and like wasn't able to lead the retreat and has to have a double mastectomy and going through chemo right now and like freezing her eggs it's like the craziest thing I've ever heard and I was like so that's why I was kind of like paying homage to that but like if there's something like that that's going on in your life that's like I mean like that deeply impacted me she's like a good friend and like that really made me be like why not it's like we only have one chance that the life on this yeah yeah it's like we only have one chance we only have one life on this planet it's like if this is the only chance we get that we know of let's start a business let's do something that creates momentum let's inspire people you know it's like right so that's like kind of what maybe that could be like a sense of urgency like that you are, do, is anything going on like that that maybe you could and like that's a kind of a sad one but like maybe like a different one um yeah I can probably think of some things but I I uh, again to like I put out like why are you putting off what you want why are you putting off your happiness so I think um like going that way but yes I would speak to your retirement I would speak to being like I have worked for so long and I finally created the life I want and I have retired and like like the way that you were talking about the beach you that post I really really like that and being like it's like I feel like I figured it out and I want to help you figure it out too. Like, oh, that's good. you know what I mean? It's like, I have, that's like one of the things that like, I keep going back to it out and I want you to figure it out too. Cause I think it's almost like what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago is like without coaching, it was like almost like the like shade was lifted from my eyes and I was like, Oh my God, this is like, what my life was and like 
I had no idea I was struggling as much as I even was. And that was like, not in a bad way, but like, right. you know, oh my God, like I can do that. Like, I think I might've mentioned this to you guys, like totally not figured out at all yet. Probably won't even happen, maybe. But like, we're thinking about moving to Europe for a year. Like, just like, like, why not? I'm like, like, I'm like, Rob goes to Europe once, wants to move there. And I'm like, that's like, I'm like, life is short. I'm like, I want to make the most of it. And like, I think it'd be so cool. Like in three years, like literally like 2025. So it's like a very long time from now, if that ever happens. But like that kind of thing to be like, we were on this hike and it was like, no, like I want to do something that I've never even dreamed as possible, you know? I may go with you. Um, So (laughs) one of the things that I don't want to be like, I don't want to put problems on people and then say I can solve them. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. That feels shady to me. Like, I don't want to do that. Uh-huh. So I don't want to say, I know you're miserable. Like, you don't know, but I know. And let me help you. But I just want them to understand what's possible. And I think it's more like, um, goal, like speaking more to goals and like dreaming bigger. Right. And that's so- what I'm doing. I think that is a way to like create the, now with the urgency though, when you're like, okay, it's like, um, what, so it's like, the, you got the curate your life journal. Are you doing any, um, like what I'm trying to do? And like, I spoke with Talia about is like creating intentional selling times. So like maybe like once, um, once, and I think I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this to you guys and I don't know how much this is true. So like, feel free to use it with a grain of salt, but, um, the media coach I'm working with Amy said that you should only be selling to your audience 10 to 15% of the time. And I was like, Oh, that's interesting. Like that's a shorter time than I expected. And I don't think that like a lot of coaches go with that, but within that, like maybe taking like one week a month and being like, if you sign up for a consult, in this week, I will like send you um, a bonus training or like that. I think we talked about that with the email list, like last week, like having yeah. bonus training, but like publicly announcing it, like that'll always be something that is in your funnel, but publicly yeah. announcing it. And I'll show yeah. you guys that. if you weren't there last week, like, um, that's what I talked with Natalie, the girl that came on last week and feel free to reach out to her. She's so sweet. And I think she's still like pretty inexpensive. I like want to work with her and be like, girl, like you should totally like charge more for this. Cause she's literally like, I want to, um, like, I think she was like $500 and I was like, okay. But she builds like your email funnel for you. And so it's like, I think we talked about like your funnel being like, Hey, like, and then it's like, if you sign up within these days, it's like, Oh, here's your, um, here is your journal. And by the way, like, nice to meet you. Here's the problem, that kind of stuff. And then just maybe like publicizing or creating some publicity and momentum being like, Hey, I've got a bonus training. If you sign up for a consult this week, that could be a way that you could like bring people in. Okay. That was a lot to say. Yeah. It's like, I'm just trying to think of other ways that we could create urgency without being like in a, I know what you mean by like being like, or without like being like, I'm going to do a sale this week. You know, it's like, what could be like another driver for well and I did put out an email you know with the schedule of consult with me by the end of June and I'll send you a planner so I did do that uh-huh. um to my group and I'm doing a webinar so things like that and I think I just have to keep saying it yeah I think. and yeah and I think it, instead of like I think a, a big thing is like the moment it's like I think you might be like focusing on the one to many model where it's like, okay, how can I sell to like the majority? How can I create urgency for like the majority of people? Whereas I kind of want to focus back on the one-to-one 
those individual conversations, finding motivators and drivers for them. So like what, what like motivates people to like your posts, what are drivers, what kind of goals are they looking to accomplish before the end of the summer, talking with them one-on-one and having those one-on-one conversations and being like, Hey, like, it's like, I was, it's been a long time. Have you been? It's so good to talk to you. Um, I saw that you are like training for a race or it's like, I saw that you're at this job. It's like, I tell you're looking for work. Is that, are you trying to get this job by the end of the year? Like whatever kind of things that you want to help them curate their life to do, finding out what could be a motivator or driver for them and then reaching out to them on a one-on-one basis and being like, Hey, it worked out. Okay. I think this is actually like the biggest thing. And I'm sorry, it took me such a long time to get there. <laughs> like, but that, like everybody needs to be doing this. Like, I think that like a lot of us like see like larger people and we're like, oh, it's like, we've got to like have a sales funnel. And we've got to have this going on, like doing webinars and stuff. But I'm focusing on like one-on-one people. I'm like talking and like having conversations with as many people as I can just in the DMs right now. Okay. But both are great. Amazing. Does anyone have any other thoughts for Dimitri about how to create more urgency? Um, you might already ignore this if this is repetitive, but I was just like, um, what I was thinking about as you were talking, um, in terms of like figuring out what you want in your life and then and then creating it. I wonder, like, are there certain things, like categories, I guess, that you have, like, really leaned into yourself that motiv- that feel like inspiring and motivating to you? Um, that I wonder if people would also, like, if you, that people would maybe feel drawn to. Like, because, like, living a big, in it, like living a big amazing life couldn't like really does like I used to think like yeah like what I love is what everyone loves and if people aren't like traveling abroad and like (laughs) then they like just they kind of don't care about life or something but it's like (laughs) actually like someone else's dream could be like never leaving the United States and doing van life or visiting like every winery in America or like, I don't know, I'm making random shit up. Um, or like, or building a business in a small town, like my older brother who I like have a lot in common with, but I'm like, I don't get how you don't want to leave the country ever. Like, but my point is, is like, there is like a coach out there that is like, let's figure out tax loopholes so that like you can have a great business and like have all these weird things. And then there's like another life coach that's like, you want to like, you're like a wanderlust queen and you, and I think that like people, you could coach either of them, but I do think that like, there could be like a, um, people might be drawn to like the things that you already love and the things that you've like built. And I, I don't, I haven't like, I should have just like pulled up your Instagram to see, but I just wonder if you leaned into like trap, like the things that, you, that you've created in your life as, as, um, like categories, I guess. Right. Um, of like fun life things that people could. So I think some, I do believe that sometimes when people see th- something, they're like, I want that. Even if they're not articulating it, if you were to like ask them at a cocktail party. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you would probably be like the expert on that. I'm like, sometimes people kind of say things like, I don't know what I want, but I do think people see something and like they get the little spark. Right. So I need to work on that because my pillars are like self-confidence, your, your environment, your space, your health and goals. So, because I think those are kind of the foundations. So I need to maybe work on articulating like how that's evolved for me like you know kind of having the self-confidence to step out and do what I wanted without 
okay, some, but not totally worrying about what everybody thinks. So yeah, or like what are the examples of the like the things that you got confident? Like, what were the things that you started doing specifically? Right. That might give. I don't know if that's like the answer in this, like to create urgency, honestly. But it. I wonder if it would make it make the idea of like getting the life that you want a little more tangible. Right. Okay. To someone who's like, oh, when she says she has confidence, she's talking about specifically how she started like buying all the clothes that she wanted to wear mm-hmm. or like um or like made a completely new group of friends because she started going to like dance class right. like those like little specific things might like catch people and be like oh, i kind of wanted to go to dance class but i also feel like weird about it right yeah that's or, a good idea that's good. Well, I like that. And maybe you're already doing that. So don't like take that as like, oh, I need to fix something. If it's like, no, I'm, I just, it just kind of, I'm just throwing out ideas. Right. But, it, and it gives me an idea of how to make it more relatable. So I totally appreciate that. And what you can do is like, I was thinking about like within your concept pillars, mm-hmm. you could take each pillar and be like, what are 10 tangible results I created from self confidence? what are 10 tangible results that I created from like each of the pillars and then putting it in that spreadsheet. And that's something that you could talk about each week and being like, um, it's like one tip to create like, um, a bathroom. You never like, like it's like to create the bathroom of your dreams or like something like that. It's like, these are the three essentials that you want to have in every room or like just something like that, like to create like something that feels a little bit more tangible. And I forgot about like the, um, the clothing piece. And I was thinking about like, maybe you could partner with like a boutique or something like that and doing something with like, you know what I mean? And like having like, um, and um that we're I'm creating a list of like 20 places where like entrepreneurs could go but like me you could think about like 20 um places you could partner with like maybe like local and like actually writing it's like instead of like because right now I'm like okay I could do business podcasts I'm like whose business podcast am I actually going to pitch myself to and I'm actually writing a pitch on Thursday that I'm gonna um I'll, I'll figure out how to like write a pitch for like you to get on like maybe like podcast or a pitch to do like a collaboration event I'm thinking about like um doing something where like people can get like a headshot and like then they could also like get like um my testimonial template too and I'll like have it printed out for them with a QR code like that's like something I'm thinking about like doing yeah right. okay awesome Yes, I'll think about that too. Um, because I think there are some places that I probably could partner with in different things. Um so okay. time. And like think about places that would be so fun for like it's like what's your favorite local boutique? What are other like and like that's good business for them, that's good business for you. Like I think this is like and, and then I also like wrote while well, um Maria, while you were talking, I was like, oh, like maybe you could do it seasonally. Like that could be like maybe like a seasonal um webinar to be like, okay, like in the spring I always do like this webinar. Like right. Something like that. But I'm I hope that helped. I thought that was and everyone, you can totally do this, like the tangible results per, per pillar putting that in your concept breakdown for sure. And then the partnerships for sure. I love this. I love that. The tangible results. I'm going to work on it. Amazing. And feel free to, again, put it in the group and take a look at it and be like, Oh, I just saw another place. And Oh, that actually, cause like me talking with, um, I, I talked with, my friend Christina Langdon who essentially like does what I do at like the like 20 plus employee level she helps them create systems at that level and she um was like 
have you talked to the chamber of commerce have you talked with them and i was like oh i was like i didn't even know the chamber of commerce existed so she was like you need to just get out and meet people so literally like i'm doing a virtual meetup with one group i'm doing an the this one next week i'm um doing this happy hour this week and i'm out of town and i'm doing the chamber of commerce again this week i was like all right i'm gonna just like blast all of the networking groups that I can and like try and do like one a week which I know that was like a run a month was like a goal for you and you'll help other people get ideas for their like areas too and I did one I went to a thing I totally forgot my win um I have a potential speaking engagement in in October like I'm 95% sure it's going to happen and it's compensated um and a possible um new client so yeah she wants to do a consultation so oh my god I'm so excited when when do you have your consult I don't have her on the books yet so I need to reach out to the person who hosted the brunch because she's going to connect everybody um to make sure that I have her information so I can reach out and send her an invitation for a consultation hell yes oh and I know that you, you've you been so patient. You've got everything ready and it does pay off. I'm so proud of you. I'm excited. Same to you. Oh, amazing. All right. Who else? Is there anybody? I know, Andrea, it's been a hot minute. Vindia, I wanted to check in with you guys and see how you're doing if you don't want to talk right now that's also totally fine we can get to you another time we can do some virtual coaching I just want to make sure that I had touched base you feeling good all right I'm looking saw chat oh great okay cool I was like Maria do you have any coaching that you would like um I I um wanted coaching on like some networking stuff um and I forgot well you were you were reminding us all that um I'm like excited for the call on Monday because I think I've just like I've been noticing that I um I'm loving doing the uh the like nurture part of networking where I already have I've like I've like met the like anyone on that list I've like met them in person they're like they're someone I knew from college they're like friends of friends um and I actually like some of them are just friends and I'm like, oh, I like knowing like last time I caught up with them and I like just be, you know, I, it's like been really fun and it feels really natural. And so that's great. When I go and do the like connection version, mm. um, that's where it feels like a little bit, um, it feels like a bigger lift. It doesn't feel like as natural mm-hmm. to me. Um, and I've had like a handful of people be like, where did you find my page? Yep. <laughs> like, um, I thought I said that in the message. And then I'll like reiterate, and be like, oh yeah, I've never heard of that. It's like on, and I'm doing this on Instagram. So it's like, I've definitely ended up like accidentally following things that I didn't know I was following. And so maybe, yeah, I'm just, I was gonna I don't know if I necessarily it's like either coaching and just get it it's either like I need coaching on just being like Uh it's kind of weird like get over yourself or there might be a little bit of like maybe or there I might be looking for a little bit of like more teaching or I would love like feedback from the group on whether you felt this way and, and how you've approached it um maybe I'm yeah well the first thing I want to know is like so one of the things that I found really really interesting is that whenever I'm not looking for clients and I'm just like oh we were just gonna like 
be connected here um that is when people come and it's like the weirdest thing and I see yeah and Talia's like yes that's like when people come so I think that maybe when you're thinking about that person as the person for the as your next client that's when it can feel kind of funky but another thought that I've had is that like what if that person can connect me to my next person and I've actually like um like when you think about it almost like as a friend or as like um just a connection last week when I was doing my networking I um like so a way that I've been doing it that felt a little bit less weird and or like less unnatural is that one of the networking groups that um and it was so funny I like totally didn't even realize I I, like found this like Raleigh women in marketing group and I was like oh that seems really cool and I just like started like going through their followers and I was like oh these people are like and so I just like met up with a couple of them obviously like these are like new people but this confetti creative girl I like just like start following her and I was like oh cool she can get people on podcasts and I was like, maybe that's why the universe like brought us together. I was like, that's such a cool thing that you do. Like, I've never heard of anyone doing a coaching style like that. And we started talking and um, her, she is such a cool freebie. Like if anyone wants, I can like, I'll put her page in there. I really, I just like, we've just met and I like, I already just like love her. We're going to like get like a virtual coffee, but her, literally her freebie gave me like 12 or like 16 podcasts of like friends that she just reached out to was like hey can I get like can I just put you on this list and there are podcasts that literally are designed to help people just share stories I was like what I was like so that's like a a, like a whole market that I didn't even think of but was like really cool and so um we were talking and I was like when I wasn't thinking about her as a client when I was like, oh my gosh, this is just a cool person to connect with. It made it feel more natural. And I utilized the, um, there's like the event that I'm going to in July. And I was like, Hey, like, I'm just trying to like meet some people. Are you going to this event? It made it feel like it's like less funky. And it was more like as a friend. And then like, when we start talking, I'm sure that she's going to be like, like we've already started talking she was like yeah like I'm like it almost seems like she might want to work with me and I was like oh great like that would be so cool like same with Natalie it was like oh my god I was like wait hold on you aren't charging this you should do it like this you should have this and I, she was like oh great like you know it's like that just like comes naturally like I'm sure it does for you if you're like oh my gosh like if, are you feeling burnt out I was so there and it's like this is something but like it's a natural thing versus being like I can totally help you to uh, climb the corporate ladder authentically or something like that <laughs> versus, you know yeah I mean? and I never go into like I never when so I think what I'm realizing as you're talking is like the I think what I need to like I, I think the the solution is I've been like kind of like bouncing around park city local like I need to I need to make sure that when I'm doing the connection piece because like the nurture piece it's like I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm starting to ask questions about what's going on in your life. How are your kids? Are you still working here? I'm actually, my goal is like, I want to have in my spreadsheet, like where you're working, kind of what level you are. So that like when I do a webinar and it's about like, you know, like something about your, like managing direct reports and helping your direct reports feel like motivated and fulfilled. I'm going and like telling the managers about it, not the people who are like individual contributors still yeah They're like not in that place in their career mm-hmm. um for the connection piece where it's like cold calling I'm not I'm just kind of being like hey um I don't even like it's really really like broad but I think what the the times when it's felt weird is when it's not, I don't have like enough of a connection with them yeah and um, so you can start it or the connection does feel like I've I reached out to like or I use some of the local yoga studios so I'm like yoga is something like yeah it feels comfy because it's like 
hey, I've been like going to the studio. I love this teacher. I can say something specific. So it doesn't feel like random or just like, I'm just like, I don't know. That feels a little bit more. And I'm like, I'm just, I'm, I've moved two years ago. I'm trying to meet people. Mm-hmm. Get, um, but I, and I think what, so that I feel like I have like a broader kind of, um, I think I need to look into like Salt Lake City and see if there's like women's groups or something like that, that I, it's still like localized enough um, that there's like a common connection without it being, I think like I, I yeah, so if that makes sense. I totally you're really reaching out to like like when you're when you like don't know someone like you've never met them in person you're really keeping it like local local I do and like within like the places like with similar interests or things like that um or it'll be like um the life coach school where we both got certified it's like oh I'm certified life coach school are you like certified there too I like got certified back in 2012 I've heard or 21 and it's like I've heard it's changed a lot like um are you looking to start your own business that's another way that like I've been connecting with people I would also say that like so going to places with similar interests is important also like whatever networking events like it's like trying to find like a networking event that you're going to and be like hey are you going to this event I like I'm just getting to know this people um yeah where there's like, actually like a thing that people come together for. Um, yeah, like it feels way more natural. And it's like, you, I actually go to the yoga studio. I'm not just like a random like internet person scoping around or like I go to the Orange Theory at that place or like, yeah, I think those are like specific. Um, it just makes it less weird. And then I'm like- Yeah, like it makes it feel like you're just like a person trying to network instead of like, I don't know that I think that I, I, I reached out to like a group of people that is the, the actual account was like, um, there's this organization called like YPO that my husband and I are part of in park city, but it's like a global organization. And I went and was looking at like the global, there's not an Instagram account for like just park city. I'm going to like do more networking, like in person with the group, but like, I think I just went too broad. And then people were like, I've never heard of it, but I looked into it. Maybe I'll join. Like, I was like, oh, this is not like, like, yeah, is, I'm I, not, you live in like Argentina, <laughs> which yeah. is fine, but I, in like that, who knows? Like, but yeah, I think it, I think it just went, I think I went too broad. Well, and I think that, so then it's like, this is, I want you to think about those connections as the mindset for everybody to be like, they'll connect me to my neck. They, they might know someone that I could work some with, you know, yeah. someone that I could work with. And another thing I was like, just looking at the businesses and I was like, this is such a cool idea for business. I was like, oh my gosh. And like the podcast girl, like j- just one that like came up to me, but, or is one that I was thinking about, but like there was, oh, there were all these other people that used to be teachers. And they were like, oh, I started this teaching business. And I was like, what? I'm like, that's so cool. I used to teach at Joyner. Like genuinely like just being like so proud of you. Like awesome for doing that. Like, and it just like made me feel like really inspired and like joyful, like to like look at other people, like doing it, the, doing the damn thing and like getting out there and being like, wow, okay. Like we are creating businesses. It's awesome. And then going in and being like, okay, the, like we're just connecting here like just to be like awesome like the podcast girl is like girl you should come onto my page I was like I feel like I know so many people who would want PR help for sure like if you can get people onto like all these podcasts like that'd be so much fun and so like maybe even people that like you could do like a collaborative Instagram live with and be like hey this is like another way that we can connect awesome the next layer once you've been a part of these groups for a little bit, then I want you to like reach out to the group leader. And this goes for every single one of you guys, like reach out to like people and see if you can lead an event. And just like what, like, um, Demetri, you were like, yeah, I'm going to lead this speaking event. Like 
do that as much as you can because you're having a group of your ideal audience, literally like your perfect, the people that want to work with you and you're positioning yourself as a person of expertise in an area that they want. So it's like, what is a, what is a webinar that you've done that you could pitch to people? You're asking me specifically. Yeah. Um, what do you think like of how to delegate, how to have hard conversations? Oh. Um, like uh, how to become a trusted advisor. I like, like if, to- if it's an organization that their main like business is um, supporting their clients. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, I think this one's how so- to manage your time like a CEO or that might not be the title, but like a time management thing. Um, I've done well, I've done like you know, like um, long term planning, love that, like, yeah, like a bunch. Um, so what I'm my plan is, is I'm going to um pitch myself to like, I'm going to go to an event by the group get to know the people and be like hey like I would love to do an event like this are you guys like looking I don't know if anybody's looking for things like that but like if if you are looking for and I'm gonna do um either the annual plan or Monday hour one those are the two I'm gonna like pitch to people and and I'm gonna be like hey like if you're looking for uh something like this like I would love to do that or like even like the um social media planning one I really like that one too so like just being like feeling it out getting to know those leaders and being like are you do you need any presenters I would love to like do a quick presentation like for August um for an August event or something like that and that's what I'm planning on doing and then um with the podcast like what literally like Christina was like she's such a she's so awesome I like was so grateful she was like I'll read over your pitch so I'll tell you whatever she says to me but um she was like um this is what she said she was like um she was like hey like I've done a lot of can you guys see that and she was like um I love your podcast I've listened to many episodes my favorite one is this one I learned a ton if you're looking for a guest here's a link to here's a link I would love to promote it to my channel and my clients here's a link to my website if they start with the same questions you could provide like riveting answers let them know that you make a good guest share them and like great and like um like she sent them her book so she's like written a book and done a bunch of stuff like that but I'm gonna write I think a shorter pitch would be better I'm gonna ask like the master of the media people but also like pitching yourself on podcasts about like people who are like in the corporate world and being stuff like that there's also like a ton of um people who are just like like not even coaches necessarily but people that just like talk about like the corporate world and they're like oh it's a drag and like like, but like funny accounts or things like that it's like oh but like if you want to actually do like something with your career yeah that would be kind of fun to do like go on on like a comedy one Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah because there's always yeah these are tons of great ideas yeah or like um to me sure I'm thinking for you maybe like going on like um like if people are like retired maybe like you could be like I'm gonna help you revamp retirement like that could be a cool one or like um I'm trying to think of some ideas like Andrea I'm trying to think of like um places you could go for weight loss I would totally pitch yourself at like a gym and be like hey like I, I I always see um booths at our gym that's like here's like a seven day meal plan like this is like something to like help you there like that could be something that you could do if they're hanging out there like just going and like pitching yourself to as many places as possible and finding things that like are adjacent to yours you know 
like or like working with a dietitian could be a good one it's like okay like you weren't really want to maximize this like they teach you about the the food i help you with the mindset like something like that i think that's really good thank you what are some other and then like okay what sh- if you you were thinking about your mindset beforehand what is your what was your mindset when you were doing things beforehand and how did it shift for me like talking about this stuff um i'm sure it's a thought that a lot of other people have and if you can't pinpoint it that's okay i like kind of through that um i mean well as always there's so many thoughts but um I, I think like when I was feeling, when I felt like, I think I started thinking like, is this really worth my time? I think maybe I'm going to just skip the connection piece instead of directing my brain to how else could this work? Mm-hmm. How, like, I, you know, I got a little bit too in the, like, I put and my Monday hour one, I put like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, networking, nurture. And that was like, when I would get to that thing on my list, it'd be like, okay, cool. Let me go chat with some like people that I like already. <laughs> and I know already like easy. And then on Tuesday, Thursday, I had it on my list and I would get to it. And I'd be like, I would almost, it, I, instead of being like, why don't I use this 30 minutes to research places? Like I, I got too focused on like, I got to have a bunch of like a number that feels good on my like at the end of the week of like how many people I like, pinged and I went through like a phase of feeling uncomfortable about it and being like you know what even if you get two people like I went through a whole phase of like it takes too long or like I don't know where to find like I'm scrolling through all these people and this is blah. um well also LinkedIn is a great place for you too like totally yeah so totally. like um yeah because you can like see what someone's title is you know if you're like even in the it's like so it can be a lot better when on Instagram I'm kind of like scrolling and like do they work what are they doing like what are they doing for work like most people aren't like I'm a blah 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 at blah 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 like on Instagram um so yeah I've had I instead of direct instead of directing my brain to like how else could this work how else could I use this time? Even if I'm not like tasked, it's almost like be the strategic CEO and think about like how to go about this in this moment, like these 30 minutes that you have. And that's just as valuable as like task mastering the thing. You know what I mean? And remembering that I'm like both people in my business. And so if I'm only like task mastering, (laughs) that's not like, I know for sure. That's like not what I would ever tell my people to be like, yeah, just keep doing stuff. Like, no, think about the best, like how to do something. Think about like, what would be strategic. Mm-hmm. And, and it's finding true. the balance of like, not getting caught in just the ideas for me personally, like not getting caught in just the ideas. How do I find the balance of like developing great ideas and brainstorming new ideas and also executing them with like clean action? without getting too attached like is it the perfect like idea and just trying it like when I have a new idea and were you the one that were saying that like somebody wanted to get their corporation to pay for it and you were like well yeah my clients do that a lot or they do it maybe like 30 percent of the time place that you should get is like lead events for corporate yeah different I was just thinking about that I was like you know when I do like this new webinar I might as well just like, I'll do it for my people. And then I also can just like ping every friend that I have and be like, Hey, do you think like your people, like, do you think your team would benefit? Like I, I'm like, um, I'm like circulating this, these ideas right now. I'd be happy to like offer it. Yeah, exactly. Like that could be a great place. And then they already need trainings. Like they already need yeah. like to check a box and be like oh we did uh per- was it staff development like you're, you're checking yeah. it out. and yeah. most people like that also don't expect to like just get free shit yeah like a, you could you could be like hey i'm i'm pitching this it costs this much 
Um, I also have like if you wanted to make it a series, but like go in pitching something instead of kind of like waiting for someone to come. Like I've had people come to me and be like, "Hey, could you do something for my team?" or mm -hmm. pitching just like a very broad set of um like all of the things that I teach instead being like, "Hey, I just developed this new thing." It went like tons of people love it and got these specific outcomes when I like if I do it to my own community or for my own community and then be able to like sell it as a product. Exactly. And then if you could also be like, they've also like offered to like pay for 50% of this or 100% of this would be covered by our company. Just like it's the top three people. It's like they, they're going to cover this for three people. It's like sending your applications using this QR code and you can be one of them. Yeah. So but I think that's awesome. I'm, I think you're on the right track. Does anyone have any quite, like other ideas? This yeah, is I would love ideas. Everybody, I think doing this is critical because then you're building your one-to-many while you're also building your one-to-one -one connections. Um, so this isn't like tactical suggestions, but just kind of relating to the like mindset around connecting. This is something that I really struggled with at the beginning when I was um, like trying to build my business and going out meeting people with like the agenda of building my business. Um, and that's where I always had the like most awkward interactions with people like one funny little story. I joined Bumble. You can like meet friends on Bumble. Did you know that? So I joined Bumble yeah, I did and I connected with this woman who seemed really cool, but I was just like, like feeling creepy because I like have this agenda. And so I ended up just deleting it. Like we had a couple conversations and I just deleted it because I was like, I can't. <laughs> it's just like too weird. And then I met her through a completely different channel two years later and I just had coffee with her last week and it was great and I was like just not thinking about her as a client um I was thinking about her as a friend and so that's the shift I've made is like just I just go out and meet people that I want to be around and hang out with and like whatever comes from that is awesome but like it just makes it so much easier for me just to have like the my only goal is connecting with people that I want to be connected with. <laughs> yeah. And it makes it so much more fun. And like, you're like, oh yeah, you end up naturally just doing a little bit of that. Yeah. At the time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, oh, Bumble has a networking group. So I also live in a small mountain town, <laughs> Maria. I mean, I think Where do you live? Uh, Leavenworth, Washington. Oh my God. I been, Yeah. I used to live in Seattle. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So it's like, I'm like, Lower North is way smaller than Park City, I'm sure. But um, uh, there is just kind of, it is like a little bit harder when you're in a place where everybody kind of knows everyone. It's like, it feels like you hit the, you hit the edges really quickly. <laughs> yeah. And then, you don't. I also, I'm like, I don't want to be like known as like the chicken town who just like messages everyone on, on like Instagram and yeah. like, what's up? Uh, it's like, yeah. and it's, it's in in a smaller town also, it's like way easier to actually naturally meet people because like there's it only is. you like ever, you end up like working through the like friends of friends of friends and the, but I think like for me, yeah, I, I totally agree with that. And I'm trying also to be like, don't let that stop me. I, like, don't tell yourself that like, you don't have opportunities to network. Totally. And I, I think the key for me is to continue to direct, like when I get to like the connection section or whatever, or whenever the nurture part doesn't feel like easy or natural anymore, instead of just like forcing myself to like keep doing the action is like, no, this is where you need to be the CEO and think about like, how could I do this? What are the other ways? What's another angle that is like, you know, who are, who are people that I know in, in Salt Lake City that I could be like, hey, do you have any network groups? Do you know? Like, that's another way to just, like, connect with people. Like, totally. maybe saying, like it might be the person that introduces you. Um, so, yeah, this is all really helpful. 
The other, the other one, like, I guess this is more tactical. Like I've had people, I just had a conversation with, with somebody about this the other day. I've had people ask like how they can help me. <laughs> and I always, my answer is always like, who should I meet? Like, who do you know who I can meet? Yeah. So like looking for support from other people in that way. I love that. I think that's a great idea. And like, just to be like, Hey, like, this is what I do. Do you know of any people that I could meet up with? That is so, so critical. And, um, Andrew, you said that Bumble has a networking group too. I, that's awesome. Like having just like different outlets, I think is like, just so helpful to be like okay we've got all these different places we can and then I think the only other thing I would just add for everybody is constraining and doing one at a time because I noticed myself being like I'm going to do a networking event every day and I'm going to get on LinkedIn and I'm going to network people there and I'm going to do all these different things and so it's just like adding one thing at a time using that annual plan to be like okay I'm going to add like strategically, I'm going to start posting on multiple platforms this month. Okay. Then I'm going to just continue networking as always. And if I feel like I've got more time, then I'm going to add podcasts. Okay. Then I'm going to add this. Then it's like, just like, so that's just like another thing to keep in mind because it can get so tempting to just like want to implement everything at once. So just implement one thing at a time. Totally. I've been like, even scaling back, but like, there's a there's been like a few just like really you know like low hanging fruit in terms of mm-hmm. um like networking things and just being like send that email this week and be like hey I would love to be a part of X like mm-hmm. included in the group and that's been like um and it's felt like a win you know it's mm-hmm. always like the small consistent um. Yeah, instead of sitting down and being like, I have to email this organization, like every immediately, because now like some of them are going to take longer and like it'll all start to like flow in when it's meant to. Totally agree. Amazing. Also, what is a win that you have? I don't know if we got to the win. Um, my, The consult that I had last week was is a yes. And we're just like, <laughs> looking out exactly when we're going to start. And that feels really great. And it's like, it's really exciting. I'm like pumped about this client because she's not like quite, she really wants like leadership support. And, um, and it just even having like the, well, first off also, you know what she said? I did the new chart, like the new, I use the thing and she goes, she gets, she said verbatim. I feel so much better even just after this conversation and like seeing all of this in a chart. And I was like, I can't wait to tell Megan that. I love it so much because that's what like, I felt so much better showing them something too. I was like, especially cause like I'd be taking notes and I would be like, um, I'm, I'm just going to take notes, but like, I'll send it to you afterwards. And I was like, when I actually showed him what I was talking about, like, cause it didn't have like a script or anything. Cause like, a lot of other times I've like had a script that I was following and I was like, oh, did I like paint the vision enough? Did I do this enough? And it was like, I, I'm so, it, so was, it was really like, it felt really natural. It felt really cool. And I think like, and I mean, yeah, I've been through like so many iterations and like, or not so many iterations, but I have like notes on, remember to like look them in the eye when you said that, like all these little things. And it feels like this like perfect combination compilation of like the thing that works really well is to tell them up front like hey the goal here is like get to a decision that feels really good for you and I've said like versions of that of what me thinking that I was saying that and it really came out as like you need to make a decision on this call like (laughs) you know that comes out like "Ah!" like you're I have to tell you yes or no Mm -hmm. um and like getting those even just like the the words and how you say it in a genuine way and then they can see at the bottom it says like why or why not Um, and so they, it's just like, doesn't feel like, yeah. And I think doing it together as like a worksheet, um, it like saying it feels like, oh, that's a really simple, you know, way to do it. Like, I, I wouldn't have maybe thought of that as a way to do a sales call, but, um, I think it like really helps someone when they're just like spouting 
to this thing in an organized way and like walk them through why there are these pillars like why is it these four things let me tell you um and that helped me like articulate that without going on this whole like speech about why focus is so like every little thing and why it's like the most important um yeah it went really well and so that was like a cool win that she said that um and I'm just like excited about um I I have had all these ideas about how to make how to make even just the the concepts of like leadership more tangible and like how could you create like a worksheet that someone can fill out before they have a hard conversation that they're nervous about Mm -hmm. um which like right now I just do like a webinar and I will talk about it but I'm like oh there's all these like pieces that I could create that like I could give people um so that's like the longest whenever I'm just rambling but I'm no, about it. I think it's great and like one of the things that like you could use is like your freebie because apparently like if anyone missed it like um with the with whatever um uh, it used to pop up with the email list it was recommended to me that um doing a video with a quick with a quick worksheet that they can fill out on their own could be really really helpful so maybe you could do like a request that could be like a quick worksheet and be like how to have card conversation here's the overview of the like how to do a request and it's like and you could have like an example and then like I felt like I would like are you willing um that could be like a really quick freebie if you wanted to the other thing could be um like, and you could just have an example. And then like with Demetria, you could have, like, if you sign up for a consult this week, like no pressure at all, but like, and I, I like to say no pressure. People have thoughts about it, but I, I'm like, Hey, no pressure. But if you want to sign up, I'll send you this awesome other training about how to plan your time for a consult. So you like two wins before they even do a consult. And feel free to like, look at this with the um email list I'm making mine on Thursday so I can give you guys examples for that I hope that helps I'm glad yes to meet you I have a question about the email list um so did she just give you the outline or does she okay like you work through the freebie and she gives you the outline I just met with her and she was like, let's have a 15 minute call. And I'm like, Christ, I've never had a 15 minute call with anybody in my life, but like, let's try. And we ended up talking for like 45 minutes, but we literally just met and she just gave me, and like, this is eventually what she's trying to make her freebie. Um, like for her um, website, she has two businesses. She's got the nutrition business. That's her main business. And then she's did this for friends. Um, but she would actually like go into your website and actually like make your flow. And that's the thing that I have no idea what she, I told her to charge, like she she probably charge more, but it was like, she's like, it's between like 500 and 1,200, depending on what you need. And I'm like, to do all the automation and optimize it for SEO. I'm like, pretty good deal. And I almost did it with her. And then I didn't, and I should have, I, if I had gone back, I would have just had her do it for me. Cause I was like, well, I want it to be my wording. Well, actually, no, everything happens for a reason. And I wouldn't have had my, um, I would have used this like five-day marketing formula, which was really long instead of this annual plan as the bonus for the consult. So yeah, but like, if you want to work with her, feel free to reach out. She's super nice. I'll put her email in, um, in here and um. It will probably take longer than, um, also I like downloaded this thing to try and send, um, I don't know what this GMAS is. It's confusing to me. Um, but I'll put her email here for you guys. If you want to, um, ever reach out to her, I was trying to figure out a way to send, um, I was trying to figure out a way to send a message to everybody 
on my email list just for my email to make sure that they're actually getting my emails. And um, I looked at it. I end up blind carbon copying people, but I download this GMAS thing and it's confusing to me. That was a tangent you didn't need to know, but now you know. <laughs> well, we got an extra 10 minutes. I would love to hear about some wins. Like, Vindia, what are, do you have some wins that you want to share? You can even just type it in the chat if you want. Andrea, do you have some wins? I know I'll read about it later and I'll post it, but. Even if the win is just like being on the call. We're, and, and next week we're talking about high and low value cycles. And so we'll go through like what to do if you're like not feeling like super motivated in your business and things like that. We can hit that too. Oh, and she might be going to the bathroom or something. That would typically be the move. Andrew, do you have some wins you want to share? Oh, uh, we can go with them on the call today. I love that. I love that. And I, I know, like, hearing about, like, other people's, like, business and things, I'm hoping that gives you some ideas and stuff. Like, I, I've been thinking about you and, like, if there's anything I can do to help you, like, pitch to different people or things like that. I also, like, I don't know if... um we talked about this before, but like even doing like doctor's offices or things like that, that like talk with like about weight loss or things like that. Like if they'd be open to partnering with you and being like, this is the mindset piece that could also maybe be helpful. And Vindy, I, oh, another thing I was thinking about for you, us building our businesses, like um, freelance writing. Like uh, I messaged India earlier and I was like, hey, like, this is something I'm thinking about, like, adding to my business. Like, do you know of anyone who's looking for a publication by a small business owner talking about small business and things like that? So that's another thing that you can do to, like, have an outlet for your business. And there's, I don't know if I told you guys about this. I'm still learning how to use it. I've not used it yet. But there's something called Harrow, and it's called Help a Reporter Out. And you go to, I'm a source and again, implement one thing at a time. I'm strategically waiting till August to do Harrow, but what you do is it sends you emails every day, three times a day of people who are looking for, um, stories. So like, look at this 41, 42 stories just from this morning that you could be a speaker on. And um, this is the business and finance one, but there's like a Tuesday morning, there's like biotech and health care, um, business and finance, education, energy, entertainment, general, kind of general, like lifestyle and fitness, Andrea. Like you could do some, like, I know that there's like, apparently like there's like a shot that like for diabetes like um diabetic patients that like people are getting for weight loss I've seen a lot of that like a lot of people want to have articles talked about it but what it looks like is you get if you click on it and you're like um uh looking for um try to find something it's like um overspend oh should your small business create a youtube channel that might be something i could work with and they have a deadline of june 20th so it'd be by tonight which is a very very short um short deadline and so this is you would just respond to the him and you joshua and you'd be like hey like i think that small businesses should create a YouTube channel because it diversifies their portfolio. Um, I think it could benefit their business by using utilizing um, shorts and it's a way to just like get more content out to a different subset of users, like something like that. And you literally just like 
put post it here or like you could respond to him and then oh that's oh I think this is like the um that's like his website or like his portion he shouldn't have put that on there but different things like that like that you can just like get and then you can like utilize that as and being like featured on xyz one thing about that that like so i would randomly get hit up on instagram and they're like we want to feature you in this beautiful piece about executives (laughs) and you'll be one of 10 like they they make it sound like you're like oh sweet but they want but it's like a you have to pay for it and the goal is more about like them making money on people that are like up and coming like there's tons of people on social media like building businesses and stuff don't do that (laughs) I would recommend I've never done it so I guess I shouldn't maybe say that but I don't a lot of those places are just like random they're like random outlets yeah. And this help a reporter out thing, these are like legit journalists, like putting things in They're They're like paid employees at a newspaper or like a website. And if you're not like, it's like a lesser, if you're not going to pay, it's like a, it's a more legit kind of like way to go. I think this is a, def- it, Harrow apparently is a more legit way to go. These people will typically never pay you. Like, unless you're like getting Vindia, you could probably speak to this better it's more so just to get your name out there and be like oh I was featured on this and I was featured on that like my um the girl who I'm doing the media reporting at it's more so to like be like I was like she was like I'm featured on people and like USA Today it's not like that it's like seen as Huffington Post US News Today like those are the things that like it can just bring more notoriety to your business and just like it's like a a way that you can um just like have another way to like be like oh yeah like I wrote this article and apparently like a lot of times with those um sites like Caro and stuff and yeah Vindy if you want to like you probably speak to this better yeah they won't pay you for an interview it's just a way that you can get your name out there and people might see you that's in your target audience so it's kind of like the same idea with like presentations it's like not necessarily seeking presentations as like your main source of income just more a way to get some notoriety and I'll put Harrow if you guys want in here Vindia do you have you ever used Harrow do you like it this is just the thing that I've been learning about things. And also if you can't speak to it, like, I don't know if that's a thing, but. Um, yeah, so I think Harrow looks legit. Um, but yeah, I would just be wary of, you know, ever getting like Instagram DMs because those publications might not be legit. And, you know, it's good to get your name out there in one of these news outlets, but also be mindful that you know, if they're not a legitimate journalist, you know, with an online profile, um, they could, you know, misuse your quotes. You never want to be kind of wrapped up in that kind of a situation. Um, But yeah, happy to answer any questions about like appearing on media, how to, you know, interact with journalists. Um, Not sure if anyone has questions about that now, but it's just like kind of like another way I was thinking about like getting myself out there. I'm more so using the master of the media course to do like some more like TV things. Like that's my goal. Like to that, that's like a way that I thought would just be really cool to be like, Oh, I can do this. And like, I'm also kind of auditing her program as I do it. But does anyone have any questions about freelance writing? Is anyone thinking that could be like a way that really loves writing that like, this could maybe be a thing for you. Yeah. So Talia, if you have any questions, maybe like later, feel free to like, Vindia, is it okay if they, she tags you in the group? Yes, absolutely. Okay, awesome. Yeah, like this is like, it, it's apparently like the most legit thing, but like that, that, um, what's her name Amy has heard of but it's just like 
I, I've been like fascinated. I was like, oh my God, like it just seemed like really cool. I was like, I never thought about like reporters seeking out like just people. And then what she said to do is like make a spreadsheet of all the stories that you've covered or like hot topics and being like, oh, like these are like you can reuse if no one actually uses that story and you like write something about it and it doesn't actually get published then you can just like return to that anytime like you could like go could even control f and be like chat gpt like if someone that is like a huge topic everyone's like talking about it and so i was like yeah things you shouldn't buy ever <laughs> different but yeah things like that but i think we're at time so thank you for offering to give your freelance writing expertise award winning vidya who we are very proud of and because <laughs> I know it's like we got some coaching on the other day and I just love you guys so much and if you have any questions feel free to reach out and I will see you on Monday for the call about networking with Jewel at 8 p.m eastern okay bye guys <laughs>